Welcome back to the DC Hawks pre-match show. It's round five, which means we've gone through that halfway point. We have eight matches still to go. We are sitting at number two, but again, we still have many matches more to go. I'm joined with Mr. Goshal Rahman, who was a previous guest on this show. And we have a new feature, Mr. Ghazi Zaman, who's going to be able to add in a lot of his input because he's been a part of the WCL for so many years now. Well, I want to welcome both of you on to our DC Hawks pre-match show. Before we kind of get started, how have you guys been enjoying the games? This is going to be the last round of our home games, you know, in veterans. After that, it's going to be travel back to back. So, you know, I know, uh, Mr. Ghazi, it's the first time you're on this show. So how have you been enjoying the DC Hawks performance in minor league in general? I think it was uh, really good to see uh, some home games because we haven't been, uh, at least I have not been able to travel to go and see the games. And you know, another part was uh, Veterans is a, um, you know, a special ground because, you know, it's one of the grounds that I worked uh, with WCL to get it with the Prince William County. So just, uh, you know, and the outfield is really one of the best outfields, I think, right now uh, yeah. in, in the area. And on top of it, I think, you know, DC Hawks, uh, the way they have uh, pulled through some of the challenges that they have recently gone through with some of the injuries, you know, it's never easy on any team. Um, so, you know, I'm glad to see uh, there were some uh, smart movements that the captain made, you know, on um, like, I think in the last match, which was significant, um, like moving Nasir up in the opening with uh, Sunny himself, you know, I think that was a smart move. Um, so I think, you know, uh, I don't know uh, who won the task, but by the way, did, DC Sunny did. Hawks? Sunny never wins toss, but Sunny won the toss. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think, you know, uh, it was a smart way of, you know, in T20, um, you know, to me, um, 60% of the time, until unless uh, you know that you can dominate the other team, it's better to bat second. So uh, that was a smart move. And I think, you know, another part was um, the bowling was very tight. Uh, so I, I'm glad to see this the bowling pieces coming into play. And I hope yeah. uh, Sunny... Uh, and the core three, uh, four batsmen that they have there, I think, you know, the, I think DC Hawks is a uh, very good potential to go up in the in, into the playoff and even go deeper uh, into the tournament, provided some of the younger players click in. And I think yeah. uh, one of the things that I see among the younger uh, players are they're a little bit too anxious, you know, and I would suggest that, you know, just... Uh, uh, relax, let the ball come to you, not force it. And right now, I think we've been lucky to see Sunny back in the form uh, after the in injury a couple of years ago that he had. So uh, it's good to be, I think there's a very good uh, team um, combination. And even uh, I think Nasir has also uh, been uh, very effective. Uh, you know, he just came into three games, three, three matches before. And he's been able to uh, contribute both with the ball and the bat. So, um. Um, so I know, Goshal, beginning of we kind of, you know, started our DC Hawks show with you. So, you know, it's been the halfway point. So how have you kind of seen the DC Hawks kind of evolve? As yeah, I think DC Hawks is sitting okay on the table. Um, I don't know what the rule is like. Do the top two teams in every group go through for the playoffs? Yeah, top or is two, yeah. Okay, okay. So I think I think they are they are in a good spot right now. Uh, they play Empire Titans, who are actually lower ranked than them in the yeah. same group. Yeah, and so I we'll we'll go into too. that. We'll we'll go into that they, like obviously a little bit later. But probably should have done better. I I think this is this is a known thing to everybody. The batting has not clicked as much as they would have expected the batting to click. Uh, it's the bowlers who are winning us a lot of games. Um, so I'm sure the management knows it. Even the folks who are in the batting lineup, they know it. So overall, very good, right? Second is great. Um, but there are three or four tough games coming up after this week. You know, they, they, they I think they played Atlanta Fire, which is a good team at home. Yeah. And then they round it off by playing uh, the Philadelphians, Somerset Cavaliers and uh, the Manhattan Yorkers who are, who are not bad. So yeah, it's it's essential for us to win both the games this week. Absolutely. In order to keep the top two position. Yeah. Okay. Let me just bring up. So yeah, this weekend. I mean, you know, luckily everything kind of really worked out really well when it came to you know, one Sunny winning the toss, and then obviously everything going well. We've already mentioned, you know, our bowlers have definitely been. Uh, 
kind of why we have been winning certain matches. You know, I know we had that one performance where we did score the 200 runs. But other than that, it's really been our bowlers that have really, you know, made sure to ensure some of these wins. And obviously with this, restricting Manhattan New Yorkers, um, you know, to those runs. And obviously we saw with our batting, we lost wickets in the power play. But luckily we had enough runs there, right? Just because, you know, we brought up Nasir in the, you know, up kind of in the top, batting with Sunny, that really helps get in those runs because it did rain. And then luckily we did win, um, you know, due to the Duckworth-Lewis method. But it's just kind of something that, you know, we've been talking about that batting. Um, for this match especially, it worked out in our favor because it was definitely a key game to win for us. And then I wanted to just go into this, right? So we have our top scorers and our top wicket takers. So as you can see, around Sunny and Ravi have been our main batsmen. They've been the ones who have been scoring a majority of the runs. And Clement as our finisher. When it comes to the wickets, you know, we've obviously had Ladda, you know, from the beginning. Um, we had Walid kind of come into the picture as well. He didn't play the first couple of games. But since he's played, besides this weekend, he's always been our key wicket taker. Obviously, since Nasir has been on the been in the squad he's been taking wickets ever since we look at these guys who has been someone that you've been kind of impressed with or who is actually someone even if they're not in this top six that you've kind of been impressed so if we want to start off Koshal uh I think like Kazi Bhai said Nasir uh, Nasir Bhai's inclusion has been very timely and very tactical also I think it's been a been of great help in the last three games knowing we are going to play a lot of games on matting and uh, turf. I think the next six, seven games, probably half of the game, especially the games in Atlanta, again, we are going to be playing on matting. I think his bowling definitely adds a lot of value. And uh, if rightly used, as was the case last week, it's going to give you always those quick runs in the power play. Uh, but this, actually, this picture conveys a good story, right? I mean, you have... Sunny and Ravi scoring the bulk of runs, but mm -hmm. obviously we need more contribution from uh, the other local guys. I'm sure they must be gunning for it. They must be mm -hmm. looking for forward to it um, so that we can keep our top two spot alive, you know, come the end of the season. Um, I, I'm sure that is going to be the case. But in terms of players to look out for, I feel Nasiva is going to play a vital role as far as bowling goes and his uh, power play innings, power hitting goes in the power play. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and if Mr. Gadi, if you want to add on your opinion. Sure. Uh, you know, um, I think I'm gonna uh, side with what um, uh, Koshal has been saying. Um, you know, I think you know the core ba batting uh, pillars of this team is Sunny and Ravi. You know, I think uh, Franklin obviously is another one, but uh, I, I don't think uh, he has been in the mix as much. Uh, you know, uh, contributed yet. Another person I think is Talal Zia too. You know, he's been a little bit too anxious, but I think he has he has uh, serious potential. Meaning that uh, he's very explosive. Um, but you know, in in T Twenty, um, from my perspective, you know, you should always get your you know top batsman to bat the more number of balls. It's as simple as that. With 120 balls, there isn't much you can use. If certain individuals have better strike rate, they better bat up, you know. Uh, I think in the early few games, uh, DC Hawks were trying some of the younger combination. And I, I think, you know, uh, I'm a big believer on Rithik Bera and, you know, um, the other young, uh, younger guy too. Uh, Ishan, yeah. Ishan Sharma. Um, he's, he's also very superbly t talented. Uh, but, you know, we need to ease up on them to get them in the mix, you know. Um, I think anytime we are, we, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's a team management's call. But to me, I think right now, um, being in number two position, uh, DC Hawk needs to be, uh, needs to make sure that they're not complacent, meaning with a little bit here and there, you know, even this uh, two games that's coming up, uh, there's several players that we're going to talk about it and we will go down uh, into a little bit more details, um, you know, but I think, you know, we have to make sure that the uh, that 160 plus runs get scored. Uh, otherwise, you know, um, this game is anybody's game. Uh, frankly speaking, I mean, uh, unless weather comes into handy, and I think there's some rain forecast this weekend too on Saturday. Yeah. So uh, you have to plan according uh, uh, around the um, weather too. Uh, and you know, you know, you have the numbers up there. You know, average of eight runs 
by Nasir is pretty incredible. I mean, in eight in T uh, twenty, you know, uh, and the advantage that he has is he he's a good batsman, technically sound batsman. So you know, he bowls according to the uh, batsman that he's bowling to uh, versus the other bowlers. And you know, I, I know of Wally, uh, you know, Ladda too. I have seen them bowl. They're very good bowlers. But you know, having that knowledge of you know. Uh, how a ba- what a batsman is trying to do and then bowl against him just like you know uh, kaushal is one of those guys that you know he 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 understands the other players too like you know when the batsman is batting what is the batsman trying to do and then bowl it to that batsman and that i yep. think has been a plus so uh, yeah Absolutely. it's exciting yeah so let's kind of get into the action especially for this weekend obviously we're playing the same team you know back to back um in a way so it'll be saturday at 2 and then sunday at 10 but empire state titans right so they are sitting in the lower order of you know the table but only five games one yeah, two yeah. lost to um one no result right due to Ooh, weather Amanda. conditions yeah so go shall we start off and kind of talk about this game in terms of you know what can be some of the predictions there and who are some players that will be key let's say in terms of the batting for DC Hawks to really target. I mean, I think in terms of the batting there's Trevin Griffith who's literally been scoring a majority all, of all the runs that they've had. He scored 173 and after that the second batsman's only scored 73 runs. Yeah, so Trevin Griffith, I think we've seen him play in the league here. Um like you said, he's ultra aggressive, right? So he can take the game away or he can get out in the first few balls. Yep. Um so he's he's very dangerous. But the folks that we need to be I think Uh, really focusing on uh, Christopher Barnwell. Christopher Barnwell is a former West Indies international player. Mm-hmm. Um, so he is he is a good player. Um, you can see when I mean I saw a couple of innings in the last two games. You know he's a good player. I mean he is because of his international experience as well as first class experience. Um, he can contribute both with bat and ball. He's a good player, and you also have uh, Naveen Stewart, right? Who was playing with DC Hawks or for DC Hawks last year and we know what Navin can do so i think these guys probably are players that i would watch out for uh, in the lineup trevon griffith is a is obviously there yeah i sincerely hope the weather you know stays away as in yeah. the weather stays dry but there is prediction for rain so it's going to be a situation like last It week is. again you know worry about i feel you know christopher yeah. barnwell and uh, navin stewart on their side. Yeah. And Mr. Gazi if you want to add on. Yeah, I think you know um Trevon has been performing. I mean, he's been he has clicked, but you know, even I think Akeem Dotson, yeah, Akeem Dotson is another one. Uh he's a match winner too and um you know, uh, there's another uh, young chap Marvin Darlington. I don't see his name up here, but I think he's also He might have been added. Yeah, he's been added, yeah, he he's been added, added to the yeah. roster. Yeah, he's been added. Later, a few years back again, very yeah. aggressive, aggressive. So player. you know if you uh, if you've seen these guys you know um they're all like serious big hitters right so it's also the, if they click then you know we're looking at 180 plus shootout so it's going to be exactly. like shootout at lakhanwala i guess uh, like the exactly. movie <laughs> um yeah batting second i would bat second win toss bat second put them in let them go sca- score runs you know um but at the same time you know i think uh, bowling wise it's 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 uh, it's it's working for dc hawks batting wise you know um, this is the season i mean it's august either you play now or you don't show up in <laughs> september that's as bottom line so win yeah. as many games as you can um, and t20 you know it's only 120 balls so uh, it's i would say to the young young chaps to you know uh, i'm looking forward to you know uh, seeing them contribute in a significant way again just relax let the game come to you rather than chasing the game you know i think i saw a little bit tentative like you know even in the last game you know i saw uh, nasir to the way he got out i was like you know after you hit a six i was like pulling his you know as i was on the field i record i, I actually had it on tape and i was showing him why are you doing this i mean after you hit a six you don't yeah. get out like that so yeah uh, it, it's good to see you know the uh, senior and the uh, young and fresh ones uh, another uh, uh, guy is you know garav uh, he's uh, actually also a very good uh, you know um 
uh contributor of the He's game He's injured too uh, Yeah unfortunately he he, he broke his finger last weekend Hey yeah right Oh, oh Goro 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 broke, oh, Goro Goro broke his finger yeah. last week This is one thing that I I was suggesting that um you know um that US cricket uh, or uh, you know minor league county cricket should consider um you know because it's all about innovation how do you get a lot more participation if you see yeah. matches you know you feel it that um the local um richness of the quality of the players is not there aren't enough players to sustain 26 team league you know so given that how can you get a lot more uh players involved without incurring injuries you know i would suggest that maybe down the road think about that we'll have a batting 11 uh you know but maybe the fielders even you know uh besides the bowler and the wicket keeper we should have the flexibility to have additional beyond the 11 uh, you know additional 4 5 extra fielders who can just come in because you know, they're playing so many, so much cricket you know unlike maybe even 5 years ago or 10 years ago especially the top uh yeah. players and you know injury is is a statistical thing sometimes yeah. it's going to happen especially on the injury you know I, another thing i was i told adil this too adil is so eager to come back in you know i hope the team management uh, has get some medical advice in rehabs him properly because you know yeah. i've seen people get hurt uh, after coming back if they rush the injury in you know mm-hmm. that even is is worse and uh, uh you know so f- i think we have a little bit of a maybe a week or two of a gap of not uh, very extremely very highly competitive games but at the same time you know um a judicious decision needs to be made on that side absolutely yeah i think you know all of that will be definitely you know they've been definitely looking into all that in terms of how the players have been doing but now when we talk about the sunday game right so we will have played them saturday and then we'll play them again on sunday what would your thoughts be on that game right so we saw you know when we played the nj stallions back to back the first game we won we lost that second game usually i mean sometimes right like playing a team especially back to back you kind of also get a feel for right the bowlers get a feel for that batsman you know you know how players start playing and you are able to kind of create patterns especially when you're playing them so how do you think you know the second game could kind of go and especially when we look at the weather saturday and let's say you know if not, it doesn't work out well predicting it on to sunday so mr gazi if you want to start off yeah i would suggest um, in a funny way that not even if they win the game on saturday not have any celebratory you know events on saturday night have more of a team planning stuff like okay we saw this you know and i'm sure sunny and and, and the rest of the team management are going to uh, plan around um, that too um but i think you know we should not take any team uh, lightly at all even if they win yeah. even if you lose or win i mean obviously if the goal is to win um you have to make sure that you put this weekend behind with two w's that should be the goal and yep. um, once we get into the playoff and uh, win some trophies that's when we can have serious parties yeah absolutely go for a few and add on yeah so um i mean i'm going to go back to the same recurring issue right it's the it's the batting and in if you peel the onion one or two more layers you know i tend of kind of agree with kazi bhai on that that i think the focus we have sunny who usually plays 30 40 balls he's that kind of a player is that good of that good a player right he can accelerate later on as we saw when he scored that 90 and then we know we have ravi who can you know who's who's taking care of the middle order right now in terms of uh, leading the middle order scoring those runs we need to find a couple of players who so don't look at the score just play more balls you know you can yes. most of most of the players in our team they will score runs they have the talent to score runs so it's all about that pressure when you don't score runs in a few balls the pressure gets to you so play more balls try to get more singles you know you can that's the easiest way to yes. take pressure out you know run between the wickets try to rotate more take those quick singles take convert one to twos try to put that pressure back you know that's the easiest way go you know get off strike you know i know it's easier said than done but it's better uh than going for uh, a big shot especially especially in situations where you know you played a few dot balls mm-hmm. so that's my way of thinking about it <coughs> because these guys have the have the talent you know they can make up yeah, absolutely for the, for the, for the lack um, of strike. Right, when they begin there so we need to find a couple of players who can score 20s 30s just to begin with then extend 
at the end of the season we need i mean sunny and ravi are going to score perhaps 400 450 runs for you you know minimum because they are at 250 now middle of the season we need two other players to score close to 200 250 now 250 runs we don't yeah. have that right now in order to be a successful team we need four five players who can who have 250 300 runs between them yeah so you know just play more balls you know it's not just rotate strike play more balls i think these guys know it i i, I sincerely wish they are going to come back the local players who i'm talking about they have the talent um you know just just play more balls you are fine you'll be fine trust me yeah, absolutely and i'm going to repeat uh, you know what uh, kaushal said is you know kaushal is you know i would say more of a batting all rounder uh, in you know um, so you know similar way i would say that uh, yes um, sunny and uh, ravi are going to be the point person but at the end of the day if we you know i've seen some of these players like try to hit sixes and get out like for example mm-hmm. you know i'll pick uh, rithik behra for example in one match he had a beautiful four hit it, and then he goes and hits out he's thinking about hitting a six you don't need to hit a six just take a double or you know keep it in the ground stay there a little bit longer uh, and sometimes you know the ball if it's a good ball it's okay you know sometimes you have to give the bowler uh, that one ball uh, you don't have to rush things in um and some of the better batsmen that we have seen in the past to like you know um if you are there uh, as long as it you know if you come to the last two overs then you can think about it but you know if you are up there if you if you if the team sends you up there in 1 through 5 and you know the team believes in you and forget about uh, you know young players i would say forget about that you know that you are being recorded on tv you know that's the pressure that you have to take in and that i think is the one only part you know because i think these kids they've done phenomenal in the under 19 tournament that they had it's just that they're so eager that they want to contribute and you know uh, that that is the one that creates the pressure so batting wise you know i think um, they'll be fine it's just that they need to relax and among the team some day some someone is going to have a good day and someone is going to have a bad day but Yeah, someone needs to have a great day, you know. Yeah, and we know Neil, right? He's also he did great with the ball, but I'm sure you know with the bat, we'll definitely see some good knocks from him, you know, because of the clarity of his the player he is. So I think we'll definitely, you know, hopefully with these new additions, it's definitely going to add to the mix and maybe kind of gel up those little quirks that we had where the team, you know, that they needed. So hopefully that'll work out well. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know, our team comes. and plays well batting wise they show a remarkable improvement they have the talent like i keep saying again and again it's just the mindset that needs to change a little bit i'm sure they know it uh, i think they'll put that into practice this week hopefully everything goes well and i want to thank you guys so much for sharing here and put watching the game supporting dc hawks because we really need everyone that is supporting us and hopefully you know we have more viewers come and support us at the ground because it is our last home game at veterans Yes. So it'll be really good to you know get a nice crowd in and supporting the players because I'm sure you know they'll enjoy it as well. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kazi. Bye. Thanks a lot, Roshni. Yeah. Nice seeing you, Kaushal. Bye.